Good evening, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. And we got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, a handful of things all around one product. So I'm going to call this a follow up clarification correction video. And it's about a product that uh, I'm really excited about. Uh, I made a video. I don't remember if it's published yet, but uh, it's essentially how Lee is continuing to innovate with a product they're calling the Micrometer Adjust Screw. And it takes any Lee, any Lee, uh, let's see, where am I at? Any Lee seating, too many holes, <clears throat> any Lee seating die and converts it into the, you know, adjust by twist and measure to a micrometer based solution, a repeatable thousandths of an inch adjustment micrometer based solution. And the cool thing here is Lee dies, you know, back in my day were about 30 bucks. I'll call them uh, maybe 50 to 60 today, depending on where you're getting them, shipping, tax, all that good stuff. But it takes what I would call a reliable die, seating die, and turns it into a much higher end seating die for approximately $15. And uh, we'll talk about that with this package. But what I need to correct and the mistake I made or what I'd like to add to this video is when I was looking at uh, and, and this is actually 4570. When I was doing my previous video, I think I did it on 308. Yeah, I was doing it on 308. And <clears throat> when you look at 308 and you look at the seating plug, that's the seating plug for 308. This particular version of the micrometer adjust screw set it for large caliber rifle. Okay, well, I, I would consider 308 large caliber rifle. But then what it said on the back was compatible with this style bullet seating plug. That's not the seating plug in 308. So I've been following this space for a while because I was only able to pick up the large rifle micrometer adjust screw, and they make three large rifle rifle, and pistol. And I want all three. Spoiling the surprise. So I did a little more research, and what our friends at Titan Reloading have brings clarity to this space. This version of the large rifle micrometer adjust screw is large caliber rifle micrometer adjust screw works with all straight walled rifle cartridges that use this style of a bullet seating plug. That plug is what we have here, and this just happens to be 4570. So that's a much larger, what I would call, rifle. Um, and, and that's what this is meant for, this version, this large rifle micrometer screw adjust. So unfortunately, I didn't realize that when I was making my uh, previous video and I used 308 as my example uh, when I shouldn't have. So shame on me, uh, new to the product, excited for the product, but I was wrong because this particular rifle micrometer adjust screw works with all rifle cartridges that use this style of bullet seating plug. So the rifle, dun, dun, dun. The, the rifle version, where am I at here? That's so easy to get lost, losty, losty. Mm -hmm. The rifle version uh, Nope, that was powder, sorry. Sorry. The 
The rifle version uses this plug, and the pistol user uses yet a different plug. So that covers my my boo boo, my mistake. On to today's video. This is from our friends at Titan Reloading. I said this was a fifteen dollar plug, a fifteen dollar uh, item rather, uh, the micrometer adjust screw. Fourteen ninety nine. Picked up one of each, handgun and rifle. Not large caliber rifle, but rifle. So hopefully that's what's in here. And uh, out the door, obviously tax, shipping, all that stuff. 36 and some change. So we will now do a little unbagging. Get my paperwork out of the way. Get my hands full of gunk, less gunky. And we now have the handgun micrometer screw adjust. And we have the rifle, the standard rifle size. So what we are going to do is step back and redo the 223. Because I think for 308, uh, uh, and uh, and my 308 doesn't vary as much as 223, so I think I used 308 in my example for large rifle, and I want to say it was at 4.41 uh, uh, on the micrometer adjust. So we'll see where this lands with 223. And hopefully I pay enough attention and don't bleed. Goes in the garbage. All right, so for 223, we should see that plug, that seating plug. Which we do. We will screw this out. Uh, it's at zero. Uh, and there we are at zero. We will screw this in. Now the bummer is that won't fit. But the beauty is this screws in all the way to the same level. Actually, let's screw that out. I might, uh, take it back. Uh, we're getting some resistance. Uh, because that was not uh, dumbass. I keep putting in the uh, the powder. It's been a rough day. But we still have an issue that it was well, it's not bad, but it's not quite there. So the beauty is this goes all the way back to the same spot. And I suppose you could add a witness mark uh, just to make sure. Um, and these are so inexpensive that uh, my uh, thought process would be, uh, since of my investment in my dies, I wouldn't mind spending $15 for uh, another caliber that I happen to uh, use different sizes like for 223 we use 55 and 77 grain for 308 150 168 um, the rest of uh, my calibers don't really vary you know 45 ACP I'm a 230 grain I'm not 200 I'm not uh, other 9 millimeter 115 uh, 124 I'm pretty standard on 124 so um, that doesn't vary but what we're going to do here is very similar to what we did previously. I will put this in the press and we will give it a try on nine on the 223 rather to see what uh, what setting we come in at and uh, for both uh, 77 and uh, 55. So back in a few minutes. All right folks I did some tinkering and I've found that um, I would not try, me personally, to do what I've done in the past with the original Lee seating stem 
and that is put my whatever I'm going to uh, reload and then try to size down and get it close enough. Um, I would take this down to uh, empty case, new head, and then dial it into where um, you think that should be. So let's talk about the 55. So the 55 for me comes in at 2.235 ish. There, there's my ish, depending on where the head catches on the caliper. So that's 2.235 ish. So we will, we will extend that. And right now I have the die micro just set to 2.83. So we'll extend this hopefully enough. There, we're at 2.62. So hopefully this will go back down to 2.3 something-ish for our testing purposes. 2.235 or so. All right, 2.233. 2.233, 2.322. All right, so we're, we're within, uh, well within uh, spec, but we didn't hit 2.23. Eh, there's 2.234. So it, it kind of depends on where the bullet's riding. So I'm going to say that's good. So for my 55 grain, my setting is two on this press, in this set of dies, 2.8. 8.3 gives me my comfort zone. All right, so let's go over to the 77 grain. 77 grain is supposed to come in at 2.26. 2.26. All right, so we'll extend this out. Hopefully that's enough to give us a little bit of, oh yeah, that's plenty. So right now we're at 2.75-ish. All right, we're going to change this to my sweet spot, which according to my recipe book is 2.70. So we're at 2.83, well, yeah, 2.83. So 2.70 is right about... There. Let me shake that stem a little bit. All right. 2.270. Let's see what we get. Might as well crimp because that's how adventurous we are. All right. Let's see how close to 2.260 we come. Ooh, that's pretty darn close. Hopefully you can see that. So, the benefit of this $15 edition takes all of the guesswork and the trial and error. The trial and error, in my opinion, is still, I would recommend starting from scratch or pretty close to it and then dialing in your exact setting, as I did. So, I'm at 2.5. 8.3 for 55 grain and 2.70 for 77 grain to give me my comfort level of being able to dial in with pretty solid repeatability versus, uh, I'll call this the ballpark, and then you're still going to have to dial in uh, with calipers. So I'm uh, reasonably happy. I think this for 15 bucks is a uh, an awesome awesome deal when you consider you can do these three the rifle large rifle rifle and pistol all three of these for less money than it would cost for the cheapest single other competitor for a single die for um, a, a single micrometer so lee has put together in my opinion another winner here it's this is not bad. This just gives you 
uh, that repeatability from a recipe point of of, uh, of view where you could take this off your two two three and put it on you know other rifle calibers and do you need you know one of these per rifle caliber that's eh, your choice but at fifteen dollars it makes it a lot better than I think the most expensive one I saw was like one hundred and twenty plus tax and shipping so you're looking at one hundred and fifty dollars for just the micrometer. Uh, and the and the Lee micrometer is about one tenth that. So uh, I think this is a great find, uh, a great product, nice innovation, uh, keeping uh, functionality high and cost low as it relates to uh, reloading. So I think that's pretty cool. But uh, I would recommend um, doing it from scratch. Uh, I did. Uh, try to do it the same way uh, I was doing this, you know, that, dial this in until I felt the bullet. And what I was finding is this was pushing the bullet in, uh, whereas uh, this with its lightweight, you know, this is also aluminum, but you've got some steel in here. Um, there's, you know, there's nothing pushing the seating stem here. It's just the pure seating stem, but you've got a piece of steel pushing the seating stem down. So it's slightly different. Um, execution but uh half a dozen one six another i mean if if you dial in one bullet caliber slash weight slash whatever and never need to change it there's nothing wrong with this but if you go through a couple different uh bullet weights for a particular caliber this is an awesome awesome buy at 15 dollars uh can't say enough so uh, once again lee taking charge with the innovation good stuff that's it for now folks later